Okay, so my name is Eric Solheim and I'm from the Norwegian Broadcasting Corporation. And what I'm going to talk about here is an experiment that we did where we put some videos on YouTube. Um, and it's about an animated um, talk show that we did in Norway and we aired it on national TV in Norway. Uh, and in one of the episodes, uh, a character, an animated uh, parody of a German trans artist called Heinrich Stammler is the, is the guest. Um, and I remember that I need sound here as well, so if you could just disconnect the sound part to it here. Do you have some audio from my computer? So if someone could just connect it. Um, and during the production we made a music video for Mr. Stammler uh, and we figured that, um, yeah, we figured that we tried to put that on YouTube and see if we can have some kind of marketing value because the, the video was kind of funny. Uh, and I'll show you a couple of minutes of the video so you, you know what I'm talking about. Important to that story and important to what we do in, in the Norwegian Broadcasting Corporation. 
And I was standing there, it didn't look like that because that image is heavily manipulated in Photoshop. It looked like that. Because people choose the path of least resistance. And they, the internet is the most open uh, media platform we've ever had. And on the internet, people definitely choose the path of least resistance. So if you're the music industry with your CDs over here uh, trying to tell people they have to drive out and buy CDs and the private player says that you can just sit at home, push one button and you will have it delivered directly to your MP3 player, people will be here and you will have a problem here. Um, so what we have to do is that we have to compete on the same level. So services like iTunes or Amazon Music Store or Amy Street or uh, Spotify, all the, those services are competing on the same level. And what we have done at the Norwegian Broadcasting Corporation is that we have started, we have installed our own BitTorrent tracker, uh, providing our content without DRM to the audience through BitTorrent because people want that. And we put it on YouTube because people want that, but we just have to be quite clever when we have some cultural differences like with Heinrich Dommer. Uh, but usually when I talk about this, people are telling me that, well, you you lose control of your content. If, if you give away your content that way, you lose complete control of it. But the point is, and my main uh, message here is that if you want to control your content, you have to be the best provider of it. So, what we have done when we put our content on, on BitTorrent, we got traffic from the Pirate Bay to the Norwegian Broadcasting Corporation. As long as we are the best provider and as long as we do it best, like on YouTube as well, when we put it on YouTube with better quality and with more humor and in another way than our audience would do, because our audience are always putting our content on YouTube, then people are actually getting to us to, to get the content, then we can count how many people there are and stuff like that. So the main message is that you have to be the best provider of content and you have to be careful with the cultural differences between Norway and the US.